7 Amazing Ways That Lower High Blood Pressure And Unclog Arteries Did you know? Unhealthy diets and lifestyle choices can lead to your arteries being clogged with plaque, and this is ultimately going to take a huge toll on your heart and your overall health. So, when it comes to ensure a good heart health, controlling bad cholesterol is always the top priority. High cholesterol is not only bad for the heart, but sometimes it can cause serious problems. According to the American Heart Association, Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of American deaths. Artery plaque is pretty much a hidden pandemic in much of the world, and it's time for people to start taking action against it. Our heart health represents a reflection of our own personal lifestyle and diet. Fruits and vegetables provide many of the nutrients you need to lower the risk of heart disease. Juicing for heart health can have a transformational effect on your life. They help prevent the hardening of arteries, lower cholesterol, and decrease blood pressure. In this video, we're going to look at 7 amazing ways that lower high blood pressure and unclog arteries. Don't forget to keep your eyes on number 2. It's special. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Also, be sure to stick around to watch the video till the end. Number 7. Apple Juice One glass of apple juice a day is an amazing way of upgrading your potassium intake which is crucial for your heart health. Potassium works as a vasodilator, which means it can lower tension in your arteries and blood vessels. It might help in relieving pressure and strain on the cardiovascular system. Moreover, apple juice might prevent cholesterol formation in your arteries, which is often the major reason for heart attacks and other cardiovascular ailments. The juice is also packed with antioxidants, flavonoids, and polyphenol that boost heart health. Number 6. Pumpkin Seeds Pumpkin seeds are flat, elongated green sources of magnesium and iron, in addition to the antioxidants and fiber contained in these seeds. According to Heart.org, eating unshelled pumpkin seeds increases the already significant fiber content in them. Fiber is associated with a reduced risk of heart disease and obesity. Whole, roasted pumpkin seeds in their shells contain about 5.2 grams of fiber per serving, while shelled seeds contain just 1.8 grams. Also, Heart.org emphasizes that pumpkin seeds are rich in magnesium, which can improve your heart health. There's nothing better than a homemade pumpkin seed spread for your bread. Better still, consider whole roasted pumpkin seeds in their shells. Those contain at least 5.2 grams of fiber per serving which gives the added benefit of increasing fiber in your diet. However, if yogurts, oatmeal, or salads are your favorites, don't be scared to toss a little bit into your diet. Just don't forget to enjoy it. Number 5. Cayenne Pepper Cayenne pepper, a well-known spice, reduces the risk of high blood pressure. In a recent study, it was found that the long-term consumption of the cayenne pepper containing capsaicin helped reduce blood pressure. Cayenne pepper is naturally used for conditions of the heart and blood vessels in order to improve poor circulation, reverse excessive blood clotting, lower high cholesterol, and prevent heart disease. The capsaicin, an ingredient found in cayenne peppers, also reduces appetite and thus increases fat burning. Number 4. Roasted Garlic Raw garlic might seem like it's easy to eat, but sometimes it's not. One of the ways is to roast the garlic. And no, we don't mean that you go and write a diss track about garlic. You can literally roast it on a flame. This way, you'll be rid of the pungent smell and will be able to have it easily. But that's not all. Roasted garlic has healthy sulfur compounds. According to a 2009 study from the Saudi Pharmaceutical Journal, it has 33 sulfur compounds to be exact. These sulfur compounds can even help keep chronic inflammation down. So, if you have mild to moderate inflammation, this one might actually help you immensely. Okay, let's see how to roast garlic cloves. First, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, peel and remove the thick skin of the outer layers of the bulb. Then, remove the first fourth to a half inch from the top of the cloves. Place the garlic heads in a muffin pan, sprinkle with olive oil, and rub it into the cloves. 
Cover the bulb with aluminum foil. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until soft. Let the garlic cool and remove the skin from around each clove. How to store roasted garlic. Simple, just freeze them in an ice cube tray or store them in the refrigerator covered in oil in a container with a lid for up to a week. Even though garlic is great for you, too much of anything is a bad thing. Number three, tomato juice. Almost everyone knows that whether you say tomato or tomato, they're a fruit that's really good for you. That's also why it's so widely used all around the world. But have you ever thought about what it really does for your heart, like on the inside? Tomato juice is full of proteins and fiber, along with vitamins A, C, and K. Like we've talked about earlier, potassium and magnesium are two of the most important nutrients for the heart. According to a 2017 study by the University of Alberta, magnesium alone can help strengthen the heart a lot. That in 2013, the World Health Organization Collaborating Center for Nutrition found that regular intake of tomato juice could reduce the chances of stroke by 24%. And for double that number, the blood pressure regulates so much that they basically never have to worry about poor heart health ever again. There are a few different ways for making tomato juice, but the easiest may be to just squeeze it through some cheesecloth or blend it. But how you consume the tomato is on you. All you have to do is have it every day. Number 2. Lemon and Olive Oil If there's one thing that the health community always seems to rave about, it's olive oil. Extra virgin, which is just a fancier way of saying the least processed olive oil, is great for your overall health. It is packed with a monounsaturated fat called oleic acid, which actually makes up 73% of the oil itself. Oleic acid has proven to greatly decrease inflammation. A 2006 study by the UC Davis School of Medicine showed that this acid on its own greatly decreases the inflammation marker. Combining that with the fact that it is also packed with vitamins E and K can lead to a much reduced chance of coronary heart disease. There have been extensive studies into how olive oil works in the human body, and they've shown that olive oil helps protect from LDL cholesterol, which we also call bad cholesterol, ever oxidizing in the first place, which can greatly improve the overall health of the blood vessels and can also help people that are prone to excessive clotting, which, in turn, lowers their chances of developing heart disease. A two-decade-long research conducted by American Heart Association even showed that people who consume over a half a teaspoon of olive oil every single day can reduce their risk of cardiovascular disease by 15% and coronary heart disease by a whopping 25%, which is a massive improvement. Now, take all of these benefits and combine them with the healthy properties of lemon. You'll have a powerful cocktail that's going to pretty much act like a super shield around your heart and arteries. Number 1. Eat beets daily Aside from being one of the prettiest vegetables out there, beets are also very healthy. Beets are some of the most nitrate-rich foods out there, and since nitrate oxide plays an essential part in all of your bodily functions, it also helps your entire cardiovascular system, among other things as well. Beets can be eaten raw with a little bit of salt, although they can also be cooked or added to a salad. Aside from that, beet juice can also be pretty tasty, although that would take most of the fiber out of the vegetable, making it not as healthy as it would be otherwise. Last but not the least, you must avoid the consumption of fried red meat, processed products, and junk foods. Doing some cardio every day or every other day is the best way to improve your entire cardiovascular system. Or you can just go out running, cycling, or even stay at home and do some home workouts like mountain climbers or running in place. It's free, and more importantly, it works. And with that, we wrap up today's video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. For more queries, I have also added some studies at the end of this video description. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Stay healthy, stay fine.